All right guys, we are back and we're getting ready to mount these and decide exactly where we want them. Now one of these, uh, the power supplies are gonna stay where they are. I did cut two um, 14 gauge speaker wire and that's all I'm gonna be using that for the power. It's just 14 gauge copper wire, okay? And that's gonna go, uh, turn one of these around. Remember, keep these unplugged while you're doing this. If you see there's a positive and a negative, now, you run this however you want, but if you notice, one of the speaker wires has a line on it and writing. So there's a line of writing and one is completely blank. And you run that however you want. Now, I usually always use the line to mean negative. Um, some people use the line to mean live. It's, it's up to you. It, just remember that if you use the line for positive, you're going to put the positive in there and you're going to put it on the board and the board is a little different because it doesn't say positive or negative it says VCC GND VCC which is right here stands for positive GND stands for negative so or ground and so the negative goes into GND so whichever side of the wire you decide on so if you decide on the writing to be you know, positive, put it in positive and in pos and, and VCC on the board. If you decide for it to be negative, put it in negative, put it in G and D on the board. Now, I am going to run these like this. I haven't quite done this yet, but one of the things I will be doing is I will be putting uh, some type of adhesive underneath here. Not, not like a glue, but like an adhesive pad in a couple spots so that these won't move. Um... I might even just put uh, rubber feet on them, just so they don't move. Uh, something to that extent. You can use whatever you want. So here, I have to decide exactly where I want to mount these, and I'm going to mount these so that they face here, because the speaker wire is going to be going out this way anyway. And and then I got to make sure I have long enough cabling for that. So this is where I want to mount these. So I'm going to keep these right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start draw, start drilling pilot holes for one of these. Now if you see, this is where this white border is, These the circles with the white borders. That's where the screws go through. I'm using number six screws, three quarter inch long. And I'm going to use these one quarter inch high spacers, which will go underneath the board once I drill the pilot holes. You do want to drill pilot holes. You do not have to go all the way through your material. This material on, on my stage is three quarters inch high. And the screws are only three quarter inch minus at least a quarter inch. So you're only going about halfway down. So you don't have to drill the pilot hole to go all the way through if you don't want to. So here I go. I'm going to go ahead and draw. I'm sorry. Do the pilot holes. Drill them. Mount it. And run the power cables to show you what that looks like when we're finished. Alright guys, just want to show you that it is all hooked up now. If you notice, we went ahead and screwed the screws in tight so that these won't vibrate, they won't move, especially with all the sound going on. There's a subwoofer not too far away. It's a little dirty. And there's these, you know, clip speakers nearby. We don't want them to vibrate. We definitely don't want them to fall off or make noise back there. So now we already had that one that was already hooked up to the other couch. I did run the power. Uh, I always tell you I always do writing, which in this case the wire with the writing or line on it is ground. Ran this one and this one. And they're hooked up to their each individual power supply, which I showed you in the earlier video of where we were hooking those up. So this is all hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and plug up the power so you can see that both of these will power on. Alright, I plugged in the power supply and you can see that both of these are lighting up green and they are good to go. Uh, so that's all for this video. In the next video I'm going to go ahead and show you where mounting locations on, on the couch that I'm mounting it on, which is going to be a dual reclining couch. They could be a little tricky. But I will show you what to look for and where to mount and possible locations for your own. Alright guys, until then, I hope you enjoyed this. And if so, please give it a thumbs up.